So, welcome to TV Survivors once Hi. again with my big sis. Yes. This is a, uh, my baby. I'm familiar with Savannah. She'll probably be in and out of the video. I am honored to be a guest on my brother's channel. <laughs> <laughs> Want to say shout out to my folks, Louisiana, Texas, where my Maryland people's at, <laughs> my East Coast folks, and of course all my Southern West Coast folks. Yeah, yeah. Where am I supposed to be looking? Huh? Uh, just straight. I don't, know where, I don't even know where to look at. Okay. It don't matter. Just straight. I'm talking to you. <laughs> look beyond. Okay, okay, okay. But, uh, but I'm, so, so this I'm is hungry. like a, a late uh, birthday present for my sister. Yay! Thank so, you. Uh, Thank you guys wanna... so much. I love you guys for doing this for me. We love you too. Thank yes. you for always being there. Yes. And, uh, yes. Shout out to uh, Be Love. So my wife yes. put together some Be Love sauce. Um, it's a little remix to it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to um, definitely indulge. Yes. And make love to this food. So all right. All right. So this is conversation. our official mukbang. Yeah, we're going to have some conversation. Yeah. You know, we're going to talk about some bangs. Gotcha. All right. Life. Enjoy. All right. Let's dig in. What you going to okay, go for Okay, so first? I am going for the Dungeness Crab. Uh, yes. Can I put this right here for you? Yes. Let's <laughs> share. We're going to. Okay, can we share this bowl? You know what? I think you, you, you put this over here and you can okay. use that as your dumb bowl. And yeah, that, exactly. I'll make it work. Okay. I'll make it work right here. Mom. All right. Mom. 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 Hey, Panda. Thank you, sister, for cooking all this food. You love <laughs> So, yes, um, yes, love me some seafood. Mm. You really like the Dungeness crab. That's my favorite. I'm not a Dungeness crab kind of person. Mm -hmm. I like snow crab. Snow um, crab is my least favorite. For real? The crabs are so, look how, look at that, <laughs> look how skinny. <laughs> don't make, I don't little, little legs. Yeah. Piss me <laughs> off. <laughs> you good? <This> <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you need the scissors. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if these are sharp. Oh, look, that worked. Oh, that worked so good. Okay, good. Well, we can share. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Some good sauces right there, some lemon. Uh-huh. Those are so organic lemon. These ain't regular lemon from the store. Organic. Uh-huh. Better believe it. Right off the believe tree. It. Yes, Lord. I'm just going to put this all over. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. That's how you, that's how you do it. <laughs> Did you see these lemons are? There's talk some about, potatoes over here, too, sis. Over, right, okay. Talk about overripe. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I did want to talk to you a little bit about our father. I show sure Miss Daddy. I show sure Miss Pops. Um, I definitely uh, miss Dad too. Yeah, a lot of memories. Definitely. Lots of memories. I wanted to get uh, cause when I was yes, born, Mom. Dad was a lot older. Mom. Mm -hmm. And so you had Dad when he was. Young and, and, and a young mm -hmm. spring chicken. Mm-hmm. 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 And so yep. um this is the different dynamics of our experiences with our dad. Right. Yeah. Um because you were born in, in in what year? You were born in the late eighties. Right. Okay, hold on. David was born in eighty nine. You were born eighty seven. Yeah. Eighty seven. I can't believe I remember that. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So okay, so if you were born in eighty seven Oh my goodness, I was what, thirty? No, how old was I when you were born? No. Yeah, I was in my I was almost thirty years old. Okay. So we're almost thirty years apart. Mm-hmm. Yes. That seemed so, like such a lifetime ago to me though. <laughs> when I look back on it. It really was. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, I'm struggling getting some meat out of this now. It's gonna be alright. Mm-hmm. And that was a different era too. Right. You don't know nothing about the seventies. I have no idea about the seventies. <laughs> All I know is disco from the movies. Yep, that was definitely disco. Mm -hmm. It's the seventies. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yep. But I remember when uh, Dad and your mom got together. I remember, you know, her being pregnant and me. It just could. I couldn't cope. <laughs> That I was having a little brother that was the same age as my children. <laughs> right. You know. But you know, you just go with the flow. Because you had, and already it had a daughter. All good. Oh. Yep. Oh. yep. Oh. I already had Chantel. Mm -hmm. So I was an uncle before oh. I was even born. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was crazy. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my niece. Yep. Mm-hmm. And her and her family. Yeah. And daddy was daddy was always always around. I remember well. Okay, I remember being in the household with my dad, being a, a young kid, 
um, mostly before elementary school. And I remember around kindergarten, you know, when him and mom split up. And then uh, I do remember him being around, like, from just be I was like four years old, because I remember just before I went into kindergarten. And then not seeing him till I was probably in the second grade. So, I mean, okay. it wasn't too much time that passed. Mm -hmm. But from that point on, that it was always a constant presence nice. in, in our life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, we didn't really, well, I guess we did have a lot. We did have a lot of folks. But I'm talking about as far as, like, him and mama. Right. Was their relationship yeah. always pretty cool after uh after he came back on mm -hmm. after they separated? Oh my came? goodness. Oh yeah. yeah. After um the breakup and then a the separate estrangement for a while, I guess, you know, they both had to go through their own things. Right, right. And uh ever since uh, my dad came back around him and mom relationship was was actually really cool. It really was. You um, know, mom was with Jack and he was with uh I don't know who he was with. He oh, back he then, uh, Jack was a Jackie. You remember Jackie? What I don't you remember. Know? I don't you remember know about her, but... Jackie. Yeah, because I heard and... stories. <laughs> okay, because Jackie. As a matter of fact, I was 15 years old, and I lived with my dad and Jackie. So yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't know my, that. I lived with my dad from the time. I came back from Louisiana when I was like 15 years old. I lived with mother and a posse at the house at oh. 10 Casey Street. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Oh. And uh, I stayed with dad uh, for about a year. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that was an experience, you know. Mm. Had my little part-time job at KFC. Oh, you I remember working? we lived, uh-huh, we lived in uh, Redwood City. I remember going to, I think, Woodside High up there. In Redwood? But yeah, at, the, at that time I was going from high school to high school. I was having some issues, y'all. Oh, my mm. goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You been a bad? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, my sister ain't never been bad. I don't know what y'all talking if about. If social media was out <laughs> back then, <laughs> man. You'd have gotten some trouble, huh? I'd have gotten some big oh, trouble. Oh, you'd have went viral. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely probably would have went viral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodness. Some shit about some damn shit nannies. Oh, my God. What's going on? Mm-hmm. But, um, cool. but me and Dad's always been close. Always. Right. Yeah. Did you ever go out like on trips, fishing or anything with dad or uh that is one of my fondest memories yeah. with dad is uh our fishing trips. Nice. I remember and this is around the time I lived with, with him, uh out in Redwood City, him and Jackie. The San Mateo Bridge, y'all. Me and Daddy would park by the bridge and we would walk through these open, there was always an opening in the gate, you know, no trespassing. So y'all wasn't supposed on. to, yeah, y'all wasn't we supposed to be there. We weren't supposed to be there. And, y'all bugging. Um, bug yep. And we would fish under the San Mateo Bridge, you guys. Nice. I mean, that is actually one of my fondest memories. Yeah, under the mm -hmm. bridge with, with Pops just hanging mm -hmm. out. And then all the other fishing trips, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of fishing trips. Oh, my God, I remember us being in a little canoe. I don't know if it was Clear Lake or... I know it was a lake and I know it was a little tiny boat. Yeah. <laughs> scared the bejesus out of me. I'd have yeah, my, out my too. My dad was a fisherman. Sure. He, he would live off the land. It's like, dang. Sure. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And can't get nobody to go fishing with me. People just don't fish that like they used to. Not in my right. circle. But, you know, when it was coming up, I remember with mom and, uh, you know, the Jacksons, we would always go on, like, camping trips and fishing trips and stuff. That was always fun. Nice. Mm-hmm. So you've been on your camping trips? Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Dad used to uh, take me fishing, too. I'm um, going mm -hmm. up I'm a few times. Uh, your son came with us a couple times. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, but I just know, well, not that I know this, growing up with a father that's older, yeah. I, I had to be a lot more patient. And uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I think, uh, I, that's yeah, one of the reasons why. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I guess I'm not, uh, I wasn't as wild. You was not a wild child right. at all. It was because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I had to learn how to be patient um, and not be in a rush to do things. But people, you obviously knew how to adjust to your environment. Okay, I got to turn this phone off. You got to be right back. Hold on. My brother, my editor just part out. <laughs> that's, that's D's job. He's an editor. <laughs> oh, I had to the bloopers. <laughs> yeah, bloopers. There you go. <laughs> This sauce is bomb. Hold the line, hold on. Yeah, oh, okay. Take all these 
Molly, yeah, then I Molly got her bottle over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's doing a mukbang, huh? Mm. <laughs> okay, where were we? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, oh, me uh, not not being wild growing up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but just having patience is one of the biggest things that I learned in life. And you learned that at a young age too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, because dad moved slow. When I got him, when I had dad, he was he moved slow. You know he had what? so many you problems on my back. Point. You know, uh, he was just older. Yeah. I wanted to go outside and play football, play catch with my dad, but yep. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the other kids, well, they really didn't have dads <laughs> growing up back in the hood. But, true, true, um, true. You know. But I did admire that about dad, you know, especially given the fact that he was an older gentleman. And a single father. Right. You know, you know, having having lost your mother at a young age, you know, and I know you don't have a lot of memory of her. Right. Um, I, I don't have a lot of memory. We didn't interact a whole, whole lot because that was a, a stage in dad life where he was doing his own thing. We were doing our own thing. Right, right. You know, right. but um, I do remember your mom. I remember your mom's uh, beautiful spirit. Uh, I remember... A lot of kids, but if I was pet the past by some of your brothers and sisters in the street, I probably would know. Oh, right, right, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's uh, it's, so my mom had eight kids from both sides. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Molly, Molly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I gotta try one each. Oh, I'm missing out beloved sauce. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Go all in. Mm-hmm. Oh, not Just what? <laughs> What's your name? Molly. Huh? Mm -hmm. When we get her, do you do it? Sure. Mm. Oh, this sauce is so good. Y'all. It is good. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, beloved, you got competition. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean double dip, but... Make the joke yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love spice. Got, got, got a little kick to it. Double dip on camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no, huh? It's all good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Biting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Dang. So how are you typically doing today? Um, I really don't know completely. Um, I could just say they're doing good. Um, I don't want to say no names, but um, yeah, we can both. Um, um, <laughs> we can both. Mm, <laughs> yeah, we won't say no yeah. names. Mm -hmm. But uh, names. other siblings, mm -hmm. but special uh, place in hell for them. But ah, <laughs> that's another video. <laughs> that's another video. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I remember, uh, me and you always being close. Right. Yeah. Me and you, me and you have always I, been close. I mean, you were like, I, you were like a. a that extra child that I didn't have. Right. You know. <laughs> I Especially given the age. Now, didn't, uh, didn't we live in Pittsburgh with you guys for a while? Mm hmm. I remember that. You lived in Pittsburgh with me after your mom passed. Okay, mm -hmm. I remember that. Mm hmm. I remember you those were about days. Five years old. Mm hmm. And I think, you know, dad was, of course, grieving. Mm hmm. And uh, I don't know how you came to stay with me, but of course, you know, I didn't have, I didn't blink an eye when the time came. And I don't even remember how long you stayed with me, but I, it was a couple of good months. Okay. I think. I mean, maybe it was in, even over the summer. Okay. Mm hmm. Because I don't remember you going to school, but yeah. you were. I don't remember ever going to preschool or kindergarten. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I did when I was with you, but you just. Mm -mm. You remember preschool he was, or kindergarten? He was a head start. He started yeah, a head start. See, I don't remember none of that. I just remember first grade mm -hmm. when I was just open with dad. I never knew that. I remember wow. Parker and that's it. I never remember preschool. So maybe that's why I'm kind of delayed in some of my stuff. <laughs> nah, he ain't delayed, y'all. He messing with y'all. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> my wife always talk about her experience in kindergarten and preschool. I remember some stuff in kindergarten. Okay. I was going to say, Miss Calendusi, I need some napkins. Can you? Uh, oh, here you go. Yeah, got okay. The that wasn't my kindergarten teacher. My first and second grade teacher, I remember very well, Miss Kella Ducey. I remember her like it was yesterday. That's crazy. Yeah, she I was old that. back then. Man, she gone now. Rest in mm, peace, Miss Kella Ducey. Yeah, yeah Miss Kella Ducey. Don't ask me how to spell it. I just remember how to pronounce it, Miss Kella Ducey. And I remember like seeing her at the corner of the uh, Garfield Elementary School. Mm -hmm. So that was Foothill Boulevard, and. 22nd Avenue or 20th Avenue, somewhere up in there. She would be at the bus stop going back and forth to work. You know, just like at the bus I mean, stop? 
at the bus stop. And I thought that was so unusual to see my teacher at the bus stop, yeah. even back then. Yeah. You can't get these people to take the bus these days. I mean, Man, I just especially these young kids. Something mm. about public, public transportation, how um, it's kind of corrupt. And they're trying to get everybody to drive themselves to work and mm -hmm. to different mm -hmm. things because uh, certain it's a certain family, the Koch family or something. They okay. own uh, old older white guys. Old money, old money. They own like oil companies, mm -hmm. entire companies, mm -hmm. and uh, they kind of they're rigging mm -hmm. the systems up to whereas to try to cut back on public transportation. So if you see things like the the, the well here we got the Bart. So if you ever see something to whereas they're not extending the bar to further, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. that family probably got something to do with it. Mm. Because it's they not benefiting people, it's not them. Beneficial, beneficial to them. They want to keep people in their cars so they can keep buying tires, mm -hmm. keep buying oil. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you, that greed is something else. That, that, that greed take folks. I don't know. Mm -hmm. When the truth always comes out. That's true. Yep. That's true. Mm -mm. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. oh, but um yeah um I remember my very first concert y'all my very first concert was with daddy Willie it or not For real? let me see I remember all of us kids all of us girls was dressed alike Jenny was sharp too in his little suit Boy, there's a picture that exists of this night I'm talking about too no way Mm -hmm. it, and now this was when we lived at 1900 Carmer's Way, Apartment C. I passed by there the other day too. It was at the San Antonio uh, uh, annual picnic. But I remember it was, oh God, his name just escaped me. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry. My very first concert was my dad taking us all. To see Chuck there. Mm -hmm. And all the girls were dressed like it was so funny. Mm -hmm. uh. And I remember I was being like really, really close. So these 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 was the good seats, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that front row almost, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember Man. these being good seats. Mm-hmm. But you was you was young then, like a teenager or a mm -mm. smaller than I had to have been like maybe third, fourth grade. Dang. I remember I was young. Mm -hmm. Definitely elementary school. See what I'm saying? See, y'all got dad with a cool dad. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't had to be to no concert. <laughs> Man, you got to go to concerts. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to dress up. Y'all had nice clothes. Y'all yeah. had dad when yeah. he had all yeah. the money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I had dad, he was like, boy, you better, you better try to sneak your way yeah, on the bus. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a different time. It was a different time. But, mm. but dad and mom's relationship was really cool because by that time, mom had met Jackson. Okay. And... Mom, Jackson and my dad, I think maybe had like maybe one little incident where dad came in. This is at 1900 Crumbs Way, trying to run things, and Jack wasn't going for it. Right. So I think uh, Jack kind of put him in his place, and daddy realized, you know, you hey, can't. This is real. Yeah, it's like, okay, I can't come to Emily House doing this no more. <laughs> right, right. Jack, Jack gonna get in my grits. But um, that's really the only story that I remember. Other than that, they got along. Yeah. Great. They had Man. a really good relationship. They co parent. Uh, together without all the <coughs> drama, you know, they were they was past that. I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, one thing I I really appreciate. Well, I got a lot of respect for uh, Mr. Jackson. Oh, absolutely. Say that. Um, absolutely. Came and took this woman with four kids. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind uh, of weird. Got out of the, the uh, uh, housing. Bought us a house. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember, man. My dad used to go over there and borrow money from uh, Mr. Jack. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of guy Jackson was. Jackson, he was, he, he was cool. I was like, how you gonna borrow money from your ex wife's husband? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, scratch, see, scratch, hey, I can't see myself doing that now. Me and Tina broke up, <laughs> yeah. and then I needed some bread, and I go to her husband. It's, it's, it ain't gonna happen. But it does happen. It's all it about just being happen. grown. Yes. And I'll be, you know, because if somebody, you're not in a relationship, and there ain't no sense to be mad. Right. You no know, sense of being mad. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Life goes on. But I understand your confusion. Yeah, I was like, what's mm -hmm. happening? But it, was, but it was mm -hmm. cool because, you know, I was still allowed to come over and visit, hang out with oh, uh, yeah. the grandkids mm -hmm. and everybody. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Jack treated me like I was a grandson yep. as well. And Mom House was a place to be on the weekends. Yes. Especially yes. when we were like in our early 20-ish. That's mm. 2053, 38th Avenue, y'all. <laughs> Talk about memories. We would get together. <laughs> And play Tonk. Mm. 
Yeah, but what, what quarters or what did we start off with nickels? I don't know, but it was money involved. <laughs> and uh, my stepfather Jackson just loved it. And we loved it too. We used to all get together and just have a good time, you know? Right. After everybody worked. <laughs> That's huh? the key. Everybody had a job. Everybody. Everybody had a job. Mm-hmm. 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 That keeps some confusion right. down. The house ain't always <laughs> packed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to tell you yeah. if I got some juice. I'm going to have to... Um, pour that out? i got to pour some of this out, y'all. Okay. Stand by, you guys. See you back. See back. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, while well, my sister's gone, I'm going to keep the party gun- cracking. And a uh, public service announcement. I can't remember a time or an event uh, where uh, my sister didn't show up or wasn't there. Um... When I graduated high school, she was there. Oh, you better believe it. When uh, I just graduated college, she was there. I was so proud of you when you went to college. <laughs> um, cool. It took me 10 years, but I did it. I took a detour to the military. Yeah. Look, she's asleep now. <laughs> you got the touch, huh? You got the touch? Yeah, it's like you got the touch. with the bottle. <laughs> I wish. All right. Man, it's like magic. Right. <laughs> Baby, you're knocked out. I need this. I need this in my life. Okay, I had to pull some of the seafood liquor off y'all. You know, like the greens liquor, greens juice. You want, uh, I don't put that in you want to grab juice. this? This king crab off me? Yeah, there you go. See, you said, you did say snow crab. Yeah, yeah, well. This is, this is king crab. Yeah, that's king crab. I ate the snow crab. Oh, you oh, ate no, snow no, crab? Right here. I got them right here. Okay, yeah, see oh. how skinny you look. So you trying to, I need to lose some weight anyway. Matter of fact, after this, I'm going on a water fast. So I got to get back sexy, man. I'm telling you. Oh, Lord. Right. Yeah, actually, I I am not mad because I've been doing really, really good. My doctor got on my case. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you know when you get older. Shit. It sucks, you, it sucks getting old, y'all. You don't, I mean, you seem to be. Healthy? Like you, yes, very healthy. There's a couple of things. There's some changes I need to make, y'all. Well, I'll say this too uh, about my experience with you growing up is that you've always uh, ate clean compared to what we ate. I remember eating uh, what's this called? Uh, I went through a lot artichokes. of artichokes. I I never had artichokes till I came to your house. I still love artichokes. <laughs> I still love me some artichokes. You I haven't had dip. one in a while. He I just inspired you the, me. You made the dip, and we yeah, used that was uh, ranch. Oh my god, mm-hmm. that was so good. Mm-hmm. I remember Steve me and Damien sitting, in the, uh, sitting at the table when y'all was uh, up on 38th Street. Mm-hmm. Dale. On Dale, yeah. Dale Place. Mm-hmm. Killing yeah. them artichokes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who was that time you had artichokes? A minute, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, they were super good. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Those artichokes was on I fell in love with um, almost all things green as an adult. Couldn't get me nothing green as a kid. Yeah. I was lucky to eat iceberg lettuce. <laughs> that was about my extent of be- <laughs> Yeah, I know that today. <laughs> but that was about my extent of green vegetables coming up. But as I got older, my passion, my palate, I guess, love me some green vegetables. I even do Brussels sprouts, y'all. Oh, yeah. Shit, don't tell nobody. <laughs> no, no, no. Brussels sprouts is what you do with them. You cut them open, mm-hmm. you cut them in halves. Mm-hmm. You Bad get some, uh, some, whatever seasonings you like. Butter. <laughs> the butter. Oh, yeah. Get some seasonings. Mm-hmm. Get some maple butter. syrup. Drizzle on top and put in the oven. Okay, that sounds good if you like it sweet. <laughs> yeah, but the seasoning mm-hmm. kind of offset it when you put like whatever mm-hmm. your cayenne pepper, yeah. mm-hmm. your turmeric or whatever. You want this? Just dip it. Oh, just leave it in. Mm-hmm. No, dip it and oh. give it back. I just wanted to keep it. Still, still in my food. This what happen when you get married. This king crab is doing it, y'all. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I think the king crab batch is better than the Dungeness crab batch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it sweet or is it... Uh, no, it's just that it's not pulling out. like It's kind of falling apart. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is not. Mm-hmm. It's perfect, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bell peppers? Mm-hmm. 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 Ah. The corn is good. That's the way I like it. Yeah, the corn is really good. It's fresh tasting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, wait, let me see this go. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. My wife took some. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. So you also have a, uh, a little side hustle, You're still doing your soaps? You know what? I, every now and then on my Estee store, I'll get a, a order here and there. Mm -hmm. But I know I've been procrastinating as far as marketing my brand. Okay. But to answer yeah. your question, I do still love making soap. I haven't made a batch in a while. But I have my supplies like over here where I can see them. Ready to go. Always ready to go. So anybody wants mm -hmm. some homemade mm -hmm. soapy soap. soaps and such US on SD store. E was it E T S Y, I think it's spelled yeah. SD store. SD store. And then search for right. soapy soaps and such US. Soapy That's me. soaps and such US. And I, I have a lot of inventory I haven't uploaded yet, y'all. But uh I'll get it out. Yeah. It so. was easier before I went back to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, now now that I'm now that I'm back in that grind you have to get up you gotta get in traffic you gotta drive though yeah. you get it some people can't do it you know what i couldn't do it for a while i couldn't do it for a while I'm menopause y'all oh lord that's another video <laughs> that's another video, that's another video. Hey, listen back just say Woo! <laughs> you just wake up and start sweating <laughs> you say, i don't know what's wrong with my wife <laughs> no, she's going to start sweat. I'm having a hot flash hey. right now. You guys look at my faces. Oh, Lord. <laughs> goodness. I know at one point you were talking about moving to Seattle because of all the rain. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I mean, you guys, let me tell you something. <laughs> I think, I think menopause. <laughs> menopause is from the devil. And, oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> Me, yep. Oh. <laughs> menopause, in my opinion, should be considered a mental illness for all women that <laughs> suffer. So you should be able to get a check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, let it happen. I'm, hey, I, I, I swear to God, my yeah. menopause was a monster. <laughs> Woo! If you can experience, comment below. Man, I mean, literally, I, 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 I kid you not, I went two years sleep. I couldn't wear clothes to bed. Literally. Dang, for two years? It was that hot? It was years. like, get it off. Did she just... I didn't want nothing on my skin. Let loose. I still, to this day, sleep with yeah, a fan <laughs> at my face. Dang. Every night, I remember my poor husband. <laughs> he would always complain he's cold. Freezing. But I do remember hearing him get up for work and kind of chuckling because I'd just be butt naked, laid out, <laughs> spread, eagle in the bed because I could do nothing else. I would get on the floor, get back on the bed, get on the floor, get back on the bed, trying to cool it off. <laughs> covers on, covers off. It was nuts. Oh my God. Like, what's happening? And I, Dang. Well, at least my hormones <laughs> kind of stabilized because, uh huh. Sheesh. I thought I was losing my mind. Well, you wasn't. Mm -hmm. You were just going through what it was natural. It was natural, but you know what else helped is when I found out what was wrong with me because I, I thought I was going crazy. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like, yeah. okay, this is not what but I thought I it was. See, I can see why a lot of women, why a lot of marriages don't survive when a woman is going through menopause. I kid you not. It's, I'm serious. <laughs> it's like a whole different side of something come out But the cold thing about menopause is that it affects every woman differently. Oh. When me and mom talked about it, mom couldn't relate to what I was going through. She's like, oh, I, have a, I get hot every now and then. I don't know, Mom. Is that it? <laughs> she, she was like, no, oh, mm -hmm. little, little heat ain't nothing. No. You're like, no, this is hell. A lot of people couldn't relate <laughs> to like, what no. I was going through. Oh, Lord. How, how my, long, son, my son got his own son. <laughs> <sighs> mm. Dang. But I think ooh, those who suffer, because there's ways that the doctor can uh, give you a blood test and tell you exactly where you are menopausal wife they should be able to check your level too okay i'm hitting my bottom uh, hitting my it? bottom almost okay is that a crawfish that over is there? a crawfish mm -hmm. one only got a few mm -hmm. i think for that crawfish i'll take one off your hand it was like a dollar 87 we only got like four or five of them for real oh see they wrong for that no 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 that's what we wanted because we mm -hmm. didn't, i didn't want no crawfish Mm -hmm. I didn't know if you wanted crawfish. I know you. Was, mm -hmm. She wanted the dungeon. She mm -hmm. said, "Hey, I want mm -hmm. the dungeon." Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got you. What you want? <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, my wife's idea was to get the crawfish. Okay. And so she okay. said, "Well, let's get a couple. This for the this yeah, for the camera." Mm-hmm. Oh, she was. I hold on the waist. There's some more in the I wish I. I wait for the Knew how to suck the heads. 
Should I try to suck the head? I don't yeah. Know. It wasn't a big suck, but it was a little suck. <laughs> you get all the no. Out of there. <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> 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 cut off for a second. I had to turn it back on. Okay. Excuse me. Did you see cut that? action? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long it been, huh? You don't know how long it been on? No, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. We probably missed our whole conversation about, about the uh, <laughs> metaphor, <laughs> so I don't know. Did y'all but. miss my uh, comments about menopause? <laughs> so the thing was, if you had a rough time with menopause, ladies, who's watching? Yeah, comment miss- below. Oh, <laughs> but if y'all miss all the other, I <laughs> other stuff, I, I see. Really did. <laughs> but I must say, whew, um, now that I reflect back on it, I mean, I, 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 I could tell the difference just in my body and the, the hormonal changes and my overall mood and my energy level, too. I was tired. It's... It's depressing, you guys. You're able to do more it, stuff now and go oh out. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. That's another thing, too. When I asked you about doing this, you was like, you're going to come you gonna come out to where I'm at. I'm I like, was, no. Mm-hmm. I'll come in where you at. I sure was. Well, thank, well, thank you. Bless <laughs> your heart. Mm-hmm. You've yep. been moving around a lot like that. When you got the, mm-hmm. uh, at the, was the fair or whatever it was? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, that thing June was with you. It mm-hmm. was looking good. That was an annual picnic. On the picnic. Mm-hmm. The picnic. Damon's out there playing mm-hmm. basketball, having a good mm-hmm. time. Yep. Ducking on people. <laughs> yeah. Right, man. It's something to look forward to. You know, get to see some of the old crew from the uh, 70s and 80s, uh, Twomps, uh, San Antonio, Roosevelt Junior High School. You know, everybody be out back there, in huh? Days, yeah. so back in the day, mm-hmm. y'all going down memory yeah. lane. And I, uh, my class, uh, my ninth grade class, they all went to Oakland High and I went to Fremont. And then after that, I kind of just jumped around. That's why I ended up in Louisiana, too, for a while. Mm. Louisiana? No, not Louisiana. Uh, Franklin Senior High. That's you went to Franklin? I went to Franklin Senior High. I did. Wow. I don't know if many people would remember me there. But uh, <laughs> I remember me and Cynthia had a friend named Loretta. I was Loretta. And you would know who you are. We used to go to Joe's together. We were all under age. <laughs> I was Everybody wanna go to Joe. years old, and I knew that I was a little different from the other kids because of the way I dressed and the way I talked. And as a matter of fact, some of the students thought I was a teacher when I first went there. I mean, it's hot as hot as hell out there. They wearing uh uh what pants? Clothes too hot. Okay, I wore clothes for the weather, but I guess it wasn't appropriate for school. Now that I reflect back on it, but. <laughs> You didn't get a break on your dress code <laughs> at all. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and poor mother, you know, bless her heart, my grandmother, you know, all her grandchildren doing like the boomerang. Uh, I think mm-hmm. I had left when I was two, and then here I go coming back when I'm 15, and I know she already had her hands full, but bless her heart, love my mother, love you, grandma. <laughs> Definitely miss her too. I remember mother's mother used to cook the best oatmeal ever. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's so specific. It gotta be good, right? Yeah. Oh, my folks over there, y'all know who I'm talking about on my paternal side. The Williams can cook, man. Can throw it down. Auntie Pips, love you, girl. Man, you can cook some food. And now we got cutting Cassandra doing the candy. Man, she's doing her thing. She's doing the candy. With I used the to peanut dr- butter candy. Cutting. The I used to candy. dream about that candy. And here she goes. <laughs> I used to dream about it. Here she goes. She's doing well. Right. I wish you all the success in the world with your candy business. I told her we need to go mm-hmm. ahead and start marketing mm-hmm. and pushing it. Mm-hmm. Every time I turn around, she's sending us up to New York and mm-hmm. California, yeah. Texas. And, uh, oh, well, I'm going I'm to tell you something funny. I just fucked up all my shit. But anyway, when I ordered that candy from you, cousin. I was just diagnosed as pre-diabetic, but you know what? I took that candy. I made it stretch. I don't know if it affected my numbers on my next lab test, but I'm still pre-diabetic. <laughs> but that's the reason I haven't ordered any more candy See? because I, I got to watch my sugar. So stop putting so but, much sugar in the dog <laughs> uh, peanut butter candy. But I will be ordering again, you know, because, you know, that can't take all my joy from me. Right. Can't take all my they joy. can't take the crab away from me. <laughs> See, and they can't take the sugar away from my sis. Well, I've been doing so good in other areas. I've been walking 30 minutes a day. Well, not every day. At least three days a week, you know, during my break at work. 
Okay. So I've been making a lot of changes. This right here is a treat to me. I didn't switch from white pasta to brown pasta, white rice to brown rice. I'm mm -hmm. eating a lot more. I'm eating less carbs, even though I'm talking about pasta and rice. I eat less of it, um, more protein. I'm struggling with fruit. That's I'm struggling with fruit. That's what I'm about I'll to eat the hell out of some vegetables, though. I love fruit. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. ate a whole I cantaloupe the other day. Really? <laughs> wow. See, that's what I need to do. Yeah, the thing that just juiced um, three pineapples. Mm hmm. And then. Um, mm -hmm. That sounds good. I love it's that. So pineapple good. Juice pineapple juice, juice fresh? Oh, even fresh. I never Man. had it fresh. Yeah, so mm -hmm. good. Straight pineapple. Yeah, mm -hmm. pineapple okay. juice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, that's and what I need to get on. Pineapple's good for you, too. Yeah. yeah. For a lot of reasons. Respiratory mm -hmm. system. Yeah. Mm hmm. But I definitely wanted to do this with you. This is probably, like I said, for, I really am going to go Ooh. probably on the water fast for the next couple of days. Last time I did it for my graduation, we had the um, seafood, the one video you seen before. Oh, yeah, that's right. You the next day I did a five-day water fast. So you made it five days? I made it five oh, days. I don't know if I can do that, child. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I, can do I lost 12 days. pounds in five days. Uh, real? <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I, can, I can lose... That sounds attractive. Losing 10 <laughs> yeah, pounds. Attractive. Yeah, I lost 12 pounds in five days. I don't know days. if I can go five days. How much did you gain back? Water. I gained it all back. All right. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll stop doing See, it. That's the thing. When you lose it fast, you can you gain it back fast, too. Yeah. But yeah. You got to have a, a whole like lifestyle change as far as food. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I, But I have noticed since I've actually changed some of my eating decisions lately, since my doctor has been on my case, I have noticed that my clothes size have shrank. Okay. But I really haven't lost much weight. But at least I'm losing uh, inches. Right. I was going to say you're losing, mm -hmm. you're losing inches but in it's still, it's still discouraging when you don't see it. <laughs> see it on the scale? Yeah. But mm -hmm. I did. I, I dropped yeah, two clothes sizes, you guys. Nice. I was porky when I first went back to work in January. So, <laughs> yeah, I lost I lost two clothes sizes. So, so that was encouraging. Hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See what the good work then. Yeah, I'm trying. Keep walking. Try. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So I, I came to a... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I came I came to accept the fact that I'll never be 125 pounds again. Or okay. maybe when I'm 80 or 90 years old. But who gonna, who gonna care then? Because <laughs> you know, that's when you start getting shorter and losing weight anyhow. Right. I don't want to get back to 125 that way. I would love to be able to get back to 125. But, you know, I'm just going to love the size I'm in. I'm just going to love the skin I'm in. And that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. That's good. Because yeah. I'm actually, I just got a book. I know I have problems uh, with, uh, I don't know, loving myself, I guess. Really? Yeah. Your brother. Yeah. You got some... So I'm, I'm reading, I'm, I'm, I'm like a I'm common a... thing though, you know, with people's problems, you know, just uh -huh. in general, like, you know, it's a bully, like they don't love themselves enough to not do something like that. You right, know what I'm yeah. right. So I'm just learning. It's your own perception of yourself and a lot of people don't perceive you the way you perceive your own self. Exactly. Yeah. So I do a lot of good things, and I've done a lot of great things, like as far as making it out the ghetto, going to the military, oh, going to school, absolutely. buying homes, getting yeah. married, having children. You have a lot to be then, thankful for, right. you would think, right. but then, you, then it, those it's, voices it's in your head. It's like, I want to do more. I'm not, I'm not where I think I should be, or, At, yeah. you know, and I know so what you mean. I, I, got a, I got a good friend who I was in the military with, it. Uh, he's the one trying to get me to clean my food up, and then... My mental up more so than my food because he's all about intake, yeah. not just in your mouth intake, but intake mm -hmm. in your ears, mm -hmm. intake what you see. Mm -hmm. And so he's kind of mentoring me right now. Okay. And so uh, okay. I'm looking for. I'm supposed to be going out there. That's gonna, definitely something to look forward to. Yeah. There's potatoes so Hopefully here. I can get a, a better perception perception of myself. But I am really shocked to hear you say it though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but I can definitely relate to you know wanting to self-improve right that's what it boils down to mm -hmm. yeah because after you spend forty four hundred dollars for some toys to get fixed and you find out the color don't match kind of upsetting right <laughs> mm-hmm yep i'm like dang mm -hmm. i pay out forty four hundred dollars y'all can get the floors to even get close yeah yeah oh my goodness mm -hmm. but oh you got, you got a property yeah but I need y'all to treat me right. Yeah. Oh. Owning, owning a home can be a big challenge. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there's a whole, I got a, I got a list of, of things that need to be done. Like that door <laughs> that needs to be fixed. It's you know, always a list. Soap room. <laughs> it's always mm -hmm. a list. 
got to replace this flooring here. The list actually never ends. It never. You never yeah. fly. Yeah. Even when you get it all together, there's another list. Yeah. And yeah. that's the stuff I'll be going through. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, I bet you wake up saying, what's wrong today? And I really do. <laughs> I really do. Mm -hmm. If it ain't, if it ain't, mm -hmm. you know, with nothing wrong with my relationship, but if it ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the family, the, the immediate family, then something else is wrong. Or I get a phone call from somebody else. Or a text message. Or a messenger from Facebook. Mm -hmm. Somebody, something. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, school. That's a whole nother thing. Woo. Are you going to do more school then? Yeah. Okay. So you ain't done my, yet? So this bachelor's. is to be continued? Yeah. Bachelors? Yeah. So that's the you thing. You heard too. it first here. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's great. I'm so proud of you. Wonderful. Yeah. Bachelors. I, I, just, mm -hmm. I met with, um, it's a school in uh, Palo Alto. It's called Menlo University. Mm -hmm. Menlo. And um, they have a real estate bachelor's program. Oh, you gonna, you gonna do so it, I was man. looking into mm -hmm. them and uh, possibly even moving out of state, Hawaii, mm -hmm. okay. University of Hawaii. Right. I gotta call them. I emailed them already. Okay, okay. So uh, yeah. I would love to go to Hawaii, live there for a few years, mm -hmm. and go to school. As long as they paying for it, I do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can um, see back that. To Virginia. I, Hawaii is a place that I really wouldn't mind living a couple of years. You know, on that island. It's so expensive that I don't think I can live yeah, there permanently yeah. unless I hit the lottery. Hawaii is expensive. <laughs> but now. two years. To go to school and get paid, I'll do mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, mm. if I was to take a job, mm. you know what I mean? Because we have properties out there too. Right. So, so they was like, we got a position open here. I would think I would think about it. I would definitely think about it. Mm -hmm. Something to be considered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm so content right here. You know, especially just going back to work. So, you know, it, it's hard. It's been. Eight months was eight months went by fast, especially given the fact that I hadn't. I mean, I've, I've had, me. you know, some things that I've done on the side. Um, I didn't work for a while, you know, because of some medical reasons. But um, I am back to work now. Um, the richest people don't work. You know, that ain't me. <laughs> I'll probably be working until I'm 70. But you know what? I'm actually okay with that right now because it, it gives me something to do. It gets me out of the house, you know, gives me a sense of accomplishment, which is, you know, things I used to get out of work. At one time, and then uh, sure. once I life hit, hit menopause, yeah. once I hit menopause, life, a lot of things change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, including mm -hmm. the way I interact with people. You know, my co-husband, my co-son. <laughs> <laughs> they <didn't> remember. <laughs> Keep the faith, brother. <laughs> I got your back, but I man. survived. I tried to tell him I was going through some things, but I guess uh, if you're not really yeah. going through it, you can't really relate to it. Mm -hmm. right. But thank right. God for. Uh, you know, Ooh. wisdom and uh, knowledge and, you know, knowing what, knowing what to do to get yourself out of the red. And with me, it just took time. Right. It took time. Time was my medicine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes, Lord. That's all right. Yep, yep. Well, I just want to say, uh, I'm like, you pretty full, tapped out. I'm full, I didn't know. Man. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, brother and sister. Love you guys. Definitely that was lovely. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Want to give you your roses while you're here? You know what I mean? Yes. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't wait till I'm dead. <laughs> right. And then to, they, they, yeah, they want to oh, tell me how much y'all love uh, How beautiful she was. Yeah. How good of a spirit she was. I need, to, I need to hear it now. I need to, I need to hear it today. Right. <laughs> I love you. You have a beautiful spirit. No, that's spirit. right. Yeah. Go out and tell somebody you love them. Go out and hug right. somebody, you guys. Yeah. God make it a great but day. Stay away from the bum bumps. <laughs> bum bump. And brother, I really enjoyed this. I am so glad we did this. And uh, we're going to have to do it again. And uh, we're going to have to have a, a really juicy topic of conversation. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get it together. <laughs> Until next time, people. All right. Peace. If, Thanks if you, for joining us. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. TV Savales. Woo -woo. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Peace out. All right. Yep. Oh, my hands dirty. Oh, this light is on. I like crab. Then lobster. Yep. Then uh, then uh, shrimp and then crawfish. I mean, I like craw crawfish and shrimp's probably like tied in my book. Mm-hmm. Flip this over so we make sure it's case it's being a wall for any reason we can catch it. I think I like lobster better than crab. Now it, it was a hard decision for me, but the sweetness of the, especially the dungeness crab. Yeah. But I can tear any of them up.
was eating so much crab at one point. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it was just too overkill, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, I, I, I've never gotten to where I had too much crab. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Do you Not like yet. blue crab? Didn't, I don't understand the fascination with blue crab. Aren't they small and hard to... Soft. What, do you eat the shell? Some people do, yeah. yeah okay. Some people I, do. Soft shell. Soft shell. Those are blue crabs. Yes. I think they are blue crabs. Now, yeah. I've had soft That's shell right. and sushi before, but not enough for me to really want to go out my way to get it. Yeah. But yeah, I remember mom bought some blue crabs back and she was all excited and we put it in that gumbo. I'm like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what, what, what meat? <laughs> all right. We're what ready. Are so, we ready? Yeah, yeah, we're recording. Uh, that was fun. That was cool. Woo. Mm -hmm. Now, if you see my wig sliding, edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Go to the next thing. Wow, look at this sleeping baby on here. Look, Damien still got the touch. You know, look how easy she went good. to sleep. It's because she had a bottle. Mm -hmm. Oh, Damien mm -hmm. got the touch. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to buy some breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much you need? I know you. <laughs> we got yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing because I'm working with this girl who's a nurse too, and she don't get a lot of milk like Gacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She be trying both things. Like, yes, so she had to go out and buy some formula. Yeah. No. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell the fennel seeds. Fennel, fennel seeds. Fennel seeds. Mm -hmm. You can put it in water. Um, so you don't have to just chew the fennel seeds. Just infuse it some kind of way. Yeah, either or. I don't need that. I'm blessed by God. No, yeah, right, right. <laughs> but, but, but I heard. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my um my best friend's coworker. She is where she she's Egyptian. Okay. And oh yeah, yeah. They do those. Uh, yeah. Spices. She said her mom. She was having a hard time, and her mom said, "Do the fennel seed," uh -huh, uh -huh. and it made her milk come in hecka strong. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. okay. And mother's milk tea, uh, they sell it at the store. Oh, okay. And, um, raspberry leaf tea helps. Oh, good, good natural remedies. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. And you got to eat a lot and drink a lot of water for it to be effective. Oh. Yeah.